Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Intense TV. Matt Wadsworth joined by Pedro DeLuca. And tonight, we are going to take a look ahead at AIW Cibernetico de Mayo Trace on Thursday, May 2nd, 2024, from the Mercury Music Lounge in Lakewood, Ohio. Folks, if you are not familiar with the Cibernetico, it is a completely unique eight on eight Lucha Rules tag match where there can only be one winner. That's right, only one man can survive the field. So if one team is completely eliminated, that means teammates must face off until there is one winner. So fans, anything and everything can happen in the Cibernetico. You might see the team captain going up against the last man picked for the other side. Teammate versus teammate. Anything can happen. But one thing we do know for sure, the last man standing, the overall winner of the Cibernetico, will receive a shot at the absolute championship at Gauntlet for the Gold. Cibernetico brings us Team Taylor versus Team Barkley as the feud over the AIW intense title between Eric Taylor and Wes Barkley has evolved to yet another chapter. But while the teams may carry the names of their captains, there is plenty of bad blood buried deep within these lineups. Bad blood, so many issues, so many personal vendettas. Maybe it's PME going up against Cassius King, and the Duke always costing PME their chance at the AIW Tag Team Championships. Maybe it's someone like Dr. Dan trying to reestablish himself as a player here in AIW. Or maybe it's even the issue of Dominic Greeny, the bone collector, and Shaw Mason. Would we see those two men standing across the ring from each other one more time? Would we see this new attitude of Dominic Greeny where he tries to prove his dominance over his former protege, Shaw Mason? Just like Andre. Ah, two. two count. Oh, an 80-year-old woman can count faster than this guy. Shaw Mason somehow staying in this one. No, not for long. Dominic Greeny. Gator roll, gator roll. Looks like he's going to go for There it is. You ask, you shall receive just other like, way. Just like a Gainesville, Dom. Come on. Oh, oh what a knee to the head. Pride style. This. I am loving this. 
punishment down. Come on. It's a disqualification in the UFC. Well, this ain't the UFC. Amen. Dominic Greeny. But he's telling him, come on, kid, do something. Ducks it. Wait, 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 one, hey. two. Saul so Mason was stealing one. Yeah, so Dominic Greeny is stopping him. You're not going to beat Dom that way. You need to reach deeper into that bag of tricks, kid. I don't think I've ever seen Dominic Greeny this dominant against somebody right now. And I'm loving every minute of it. I mean, there's no way Shaw Mason is 100% after taking that pile driver on the apron. He could be Dom, go for another one. Man. Up. What the hell? Hey. Slips through, wins to Gary. Get up. Shaw Mason trying to show some life here. Get up. You're good, Dom. You're good. There you go. Take a walk. Go, go to the ropes. Two. How much did that take out of Shaw Mason, though? Yeah, a lot. Look, this kid don't know where he's at. That was off of instinct. A blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. There we go. No. Oh. Get Shaw up. Mason. Go by the ropes. Go by the ropes. Couple clotheslines. No. Overhead belly to belly. Take a walk. Take a walk, Dom. Paul Mason. Oh, no. German suplex. Paul Mason finding life. He's all right. Don't worry. Don't panic. Perfect flex. Kick out. Two. Unbelievable. Somebody give me something to drink. Give me some water. Give me something to drink. Come on, Tom. Shot to the midsection. He's in the row. He's in the corner. Get him out. Tom reversing it. Shaw to the top rope. Oh, this is for podium. He didn't cover him, though. Big That's mistake. Very big mistake. Paul Mason He's fired up. Oh, yes. just as quick as he got fired up. Just dropped by a spinning back fist. That's how they do it on the East Coast. A good night, nurse. Wrist here clutch. Cross the knee. We got it, baby, right here. Only a two count. Dominic Carini. We sure these new referees know how to count? Dom, not happy about that. Have to send these people back to Sesame Street. All right, Dom. Don't play around with him anymore, Dom. Dom, Dom looks like he's contemplating. Contemplating what kind of violence he's gonna do next. Put this kid back on the shelf where he belongs with Wheezy. Oh no! Look at this, hold it on. He's hey, crap. Hey, oh, hey. there it is. Oh. One, no. two. Only right. a two count. Hey, come on. One. Two. Ah, that was a three. Two, no, two no, count. No, no, no. Oh no, Shaw Mason's got him the ankle lock. He's Dominic Greeny will not tap. Get to the Dominic Greeny not one to quit. Get to the ropes, Dom. Dominic Greeny. In the middle of the ring, there pulls through, sends Shaw Mason to the corner. That's the ring awareness of one Dominic Garini. He knew what he was doing. Come on, Shaw! Nice. Dom, again. starting those again. chops. Again! Machine gun chops. Another clip! Put in another clip of the gun! Damn it! Shaw Mason, throwing forearms. Fired up. All you want. Jumping into Gary out of Dominic Garini. Picture perfect. Tip of the toe right to the temple of Shaw Mason. Whatever brain Shaw Mason has a scramble now. There's no brain in that head, Carson. You know that as well as I do. That's true. Oh, no, no there definitely is not. No, there definitely is not. We got it, baby, right two. here. Son of a two. bitch. Ooh, yeah, it's only a two count. What the hell's going on here? How the hell is this kid kicking out? Shaw Mason, for what it's worth, heck of a heart on that kid. No brains, but heck of a heart. Run it up now, Dom. Leave no doubt. Squeeze um, the life out of this kid. Shaw Mason using the ropes to get back to his feet. All right, here we go. Tom Negrini maybe looking muscle little, buster here. Say, little busted up some muscles here, baby. Here we go. He's got it. Got him up. Hey, Shaw. Hey. He has it scouted. Oh no! High angle slam! Hey, that's, an, that's a dangle slam! He's still there for Bert Dangle! Only a two count. Only Bert Dangle 
does that move? How dare this kid steal that? You think Bert Dangle's gonna be at Gauntlet for the gold? I got a phone call into him. It's really busy time in the Finger Lakes right now. But anyway, I'm more concerned with this kid is. Oh, hey, oh what's, wait, what's wait Garcia doing out here? Hey. What the hell are you doing? Hey, maybe he left here earlier. I don't know. Sydney Mott, was that? It's gotta be Sandy. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. That's it, baby. BAX. Yes! BAX coming out. Now, as we've already told you, the winner of the Cybernetico match itself gets a shot at the AIW absolute title at Gauntlet for the Gold. But the question remains, just who will be defending that absolute title at Gauntlet. That's right, Matt, because after defeating Derek Dillinger at When the Smoke Clears, Magnum CK called out the absolute champion, the problem Isaiah Broner. He demanded a championship match at Cibernetico de Mayo Trace, and the absolute champion was more than willing to oblige. I just went through absolute brutality, and it's not even the first thing on my mind. My beautiful wife, my daughters, my four dogs, my three cats are all sitting in my big house right now watching the man they love covered in someone else's blood. And it's not even the first thing on my mind. The first thing on my mind is I was supposed to be the absolute champion. 2018 was my shot and God took it away from me. So tonight I defy God. Broder, May 2nd. I'm taking what's mine. You are a bitch. They call me a god. 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 I'm about to go off like a weapon Fuel to the top, got a filled up engine In my thoughts obsession I will not stop, no I'm never second guessing I got a god complex Haters love to hate but I never feel pressed Got a lot on my plate but I never get stressed I'll take all the pressure like I'm in this test oh, Tear it up like I'm Jason I see the world like it's ready for the taking I see this place like a game I'm playing Straight to the bank to collect my payments No negotiations, it's my way I was born impatient and like a damn Freemason, I'll run this nation. They call me a god. 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 Oh. I don't know how to stop. I just go till I drop. Whether it's working or shots, give it all that I got. You can watch me work in my element Anyone in the way is irrelevant you Wanna cross me cool, not intelligent Cause I don't forget shit like an elephant Go ahead and tempt me Put it on the line and you'll come up empty If I got time At Cibernetico de Mayo Trace We will also see the further development Of the AIW Women's Division As the gold standard of women's wrestling and absolute intense wrestling, Jocelyn Navarro takes on one of the newest members of the division, the Nomi, Gabby Forza. Now, Gabby has shown quite a bit, and in fact has shown quite capable of hanging with the women of AIW in her previous appearances, but one thing she has not done is pick up a victory in AIW competition, and in Jocelyn Navarro, she's got her biggest challenge yet. Speaking of tough challenges, let's take a look back at one of Jocelyn Navarro's toughest challenges and show what she is capable of as we go back to Gauntlet for the Gold, May 20th, 2023, as Jocelyn Navarro goes one-on-one -on -one with Miyu Yamashita. Kick off the second half of action. Dustin, good to see you. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm glad here. you were located. I'm here. I was, were you guys worried? There was, there was some concern. Ah. I heard, I was back there 
I was back there talking to some people, and all of a sudden I heard Steve Guy. I was like, oh, I'm here. International Ooh. affair we got here. Jamaica yeah. versus Japan. See Jocelyn throwing water throwing at us. Water at us. Awesome. It's actually kind of appreciated. My mouth gets dry out here. Oh. Uh, Jocelyn Navarro, of course, earned this opportunity with a win over Ziggy Heim at Seabird Nidico to Mayo. Dustin, you're very good, by the way, at responding to Jake's prompts. I always to ring the bell. Uh, Jocelyn Navarro, a show of respect there with Miu Yamashita. And Jocelyn, as we've said time and time again, is the measuring stick here in absolute intense wrestling. In fact, not even just against female competitors, just in general, one-on-one. -on -one. Jocelyn Navarro has won her last seven matches, dating back almost a year. It was June of last year at Gangsta Rap made me do it. The last time she lost a one-on-one -on -one encounter, but she definitely in that time has not had someone like Miyu Yamashita across the ring from her. Yeah, Miyu Yamashita coming all the way from Japan, Tokyo Joshi Pro. Really one of the one of the biggest stars in women's wrestling today. Indeed, you talked about her time in Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling. And she's not just over there. She is considered by many to be the ace of that promotion. She is a three-time Princess of Princess champion and, in fact, has spent 1,065 days as that champion. But right there, Jocelyn Navarro runs through her. Dustin, to put that number in perspective, that represents 40% of the time that title has existed. Put that into perspective, that's longer than I was married, Walker. Jocelyn Navarro is someone, as we said, who has stepped up time and time again. She's had some high-profile matchups here in AIW, has won her last seven. But at this point, we, we're reaching a point with Jocelyn where it's almost not enough to, to have a good showing. We've seen her in there with the likes of Thunder Rosa. We've seen her in there with the likes of Allison Kay. And while she made strong showings, while she, while she challenged them well, she came up short in those matchups. All the weight on the shoulders there. Great pin, great pinning attempt there by Jocelyn. Mew drives her back into the corner. Of course, Mew no stranger to either one of those competitors. She actually challenged Thunder Rosa the for the AEW women's title. And has also wrestled Allison Kay and defeated her in shine a couple years ago. Deep arm drag there by Jocelyn. And an even more impressive statistic about uh, Miyu Yamashita is this is someone who in her entire career has never had a year where she had a losing record. Very impressive. Oh, Jocelyn. And Jocelyn, a little bit of change. I think most people would expect her as she slid under to pick the ankle and said she kicked the ankle out from underneath Yamashita. Now Jocelyn had a steam pump kick through the side of the head. I'll tell you what, Miyu Yamashita is a world-renowned striker, one of the most feared strikers in professional wrestling. But right now, Jocelyn Navarro is on a mission to prove that people should know her name in that conversation as well. That's, I was going to say, Jocelyn looked like she was trying to wrestle her for a second, but that just went back to the striking. Her bread and butter. One for the leg drop missed. Miyu makes her pay for it with a drop kick off of the ring apron. Now Yamashita almost halfway in, halfway out, finally steps out on the ring apron as Jocelyn's up. Ooh. Kick right through the sternum. Jocelyn, Jocelyn lands in that chair. Miyu measuring her up. Yamashita backs up to the far side to the guardrail. Gets the momentum coming in, rising knee, and just forcing Jocelyn's head into the guardrail with it. It bounced off the guard. Oh. And then whipping Jocelyn hard into the far side. Miu getting a little, a little violent out here. Usually you just see the strikes. She has She's taken guard, over. Really trying to fight her. She catches Jake Clemens counting. Rolls in then back out to break the count. Now headed the other way. Looks oh. for the knee again. Jocelyn though this time able to recover in the time that it took Miu to break the count. And now Jocelyn knife edge chop on Yamashita. Miu just regretting that decision to 
go for it, go to the well one more time. Joslin now charging in, and it's Joslin just driving that foot right through the jaw. Through the jaw. And this time All it's Joslin distance. rolling in and back out to break the count. Clemens wants them to bring the action back into the ring. Joslin is not coming back in as much as she wants to win this matchup. She wants to defeat Miyu Yamashita in the ring, but she pays for it right there. Miyu catches her with the kick on her way in. A little sliding kick to the back of the head. Oh, man. Oh, Yamashita, spinal tap kick. Right between the shoulder blades, all the weight over the shoulders. Joslin able to kick out on one. Yamashita right back on top of her with the rear chin lock. She's wearing Jocelyn down. Now transitioning through to maintain wrist control on it. She snuck the hand through, almost sliding it through, almost into a, a seated million dollar dream style sleeper. I just got both sides. And oh, she's and using it to control the head of Jocelyn Navarro. Anyone who's ever done any level of wrestling oh. can tell you, you control your opponent's head, you control their entire body. And then the slam, using that martial arts background. Where Jocelyn manages to roll her back onto the shoulders, forces Miu to break the hold. That's just good old fashioned wrestling. Use your opponent's momentum. Yamashita, a couple of knees to the midsection to drop. Drive Jocelyn back into the ropes. Head of steam, clothesline, just yanking Jocelyn down. Jocelyn, hung up. It's me going for here. Yamashita dragging Jocelyn back out. Jocelyn trying to fight her way back. A couple shots to the midsection. Miu lets her get back to her feet. Muay Thai clinch, knee Off lift, the sweeps the leg, kick to the sternum. Oh. Right to the side. Oh. I'll tell you what, Jocelyn Navarro had oh. made the comment that she had wanted to prove that she could strike with Miu Yamashita, and John Thorne himself told her, listen, that may be a big mistake, and Miu is showing why right now. Did you know Miu Yamashita can kick a baseball bat in half? Oh, it's going to be like kicking something in half. That lariat just broke me in half. I was going to say, speaking of baseball bats, the way she swung that thing. Miu down after the effects of the lariat. Jocelyn Navarro still down after those strikes that she ate. Just rapid succession. Both women. Jocelyn hoping she can maybe, maybe get, get her wits back about her. There's a big opportunity here that, that lariat really... Really took a lot out of Miu. Jocelyn to her feet, comes charging out. Just driving both hands, both arms through. Looks for the back elbow, Miu underneath. Reverses Jocelyn on her way in, catches the kick attempt. Jocelyn kicks free, back. kicks Miu across the ring. Reverse neck breaker. Jocelyn makes the cover. Two count only, and I'll tell you what, I wasn't sure Miu was getting out of that one after she got snapped back in that. Neckbreaker, Dustin, she sat up, was facing us, and it looked like those eyes were glossed yeah, over. Did, did not look like she was doing very well. Jocelyn dragging Miu back to her feet, rear waist lock position. Miu trying to get to the ropes, the ropes to force the break. Clemens calling for it, but Jocelyn just using that power of hers to drag Miu out to the center of the ring. Miu, though, drops down. You talked about that martial arts background, and there it is right there. Got Jocelyn in the corner. Another knee. Into the ribcage now, Miyu getting ahead of steam. Step up, Inzugiri using the middle turnbuckle to land that kick, and she may have actually caught right in the temple with it. Jocelyn's eyes rolling the back of her head. Nope, stops her. Now Miyu trying to muscle Jocelyn up. Jocelyn using that size advantage that she has got. Back to the rear waist lock, looking for a German suplex. Miyu, though, fighting it off, trying to fight. Switch. Standing switch, go behind rear waist lock. And Jocelyn trying to get those thumbs Jocelyn in there, switching. force the break. Jocelyn behind, looks for the German suplex. Miu drops down, kick right to the face. Sends. Oh, oh but Jocelyn firing right back with a forearm shot. Jocelyn hits the ropes. Oh. The head kick on point by Miu Mashta. And that time she gets to the German suplex, almost rolling over her shoulder. Deposits are on the back of her head. Miu, oh. Jocelyn back up. And Miu doesn't realize it. Jocelyn, and there's Miu Jocelyn. Back Miu back up. 
Miu back to her feet. Jocelyn not making the same mistake she did, though. Turns and gets the attention. Shotgun drop kick drives Yamash to the corner. Jocelyn in full control. Up, maybe. Oh. Rising knee, that pump style knee coming out of the corner by Miu Yamashka. Miu one more time goes to that rear waist lock. This time she gets every bit of that German suplex. Suplex just throwing Jocelyn over her head. Jocelyn pulls herself back to her feet. Oh, go for the kick. Look for the kick. Jocelyn out of the way. German oh. suplex just dragging Miu Yamashka back of the skull first into the bottom turnbuckle. Worst for wear if I've ever seen it. Jocelyn. Taking full advantage, here she comes. She's got See Yamashita this in the corner. Now coming oh, across body. that cross body, all of the weight being driven into the rib cage of Mimi Yamashita. Yamashita rolls out, Jocelyn sits down, makes the cover, and a huge victory for Jocelyn Navarro. Jocelyn Navarro. Jocelyn Navarro really showing some, showing some guts, most, the most, uh, the hardest we've seen her have to fight to win a match in a while. And we talked about the huge matches that she has had where she has been impressive, but perhaps came up short. And this one, not only did she impress, but she beat, as you said, one of the stars of women's wrestling in the world, and Miyu Yamashita. And Yamashita, I think, perhaps letting her know that that was one. But should they meet again, she won't underestimate Jocelyn Navarro one bit. Experience the most intense wrestling in the United States. Featuring the intense icon, Josh Bishop, the bone collector, Dominic Garini, the director, Derek Dillinger, and more of the top names on the scene today. You won't find harder hitting professional wrestling anywhere else. For more information and upcoming shows, visit AIWrestling.com. Follow AIW on social media at AI Wrestling. There you have it, fans. Another episode of Intense TV. Now, fans, if you haven't gotten your fill of AIW, there's so many ways you can stay connected with us, whether it be on X, whether it be on TikTok, whether it be on Facebook, Instagram. Just search out AI Wrestling or Absolute Intense Wrestling. You will find all of our social medias. If you would like to go even further than that, you can be part of our Discord or be a patron on our Patreon at patreon.com slash AI Wrestling. Fans there, you can get in touch with some of the power brokers here in AIW and some of your favorite superstars if you're on that Discord as part of the Patreon. And fans, as always, AIWrestling.com, your home of past show results. So much information and also something else you can get at AIWrestling.com. If you are looking to join the crowds that are there live for Absolute Intense Wrestling, you have a couple opportunities upcoming Thursday, May 2nd at the Mercury Music Lounge in Lakewood, Ohio, Seabird, Medico, De Mayo, Trace. As well, later that same month, just a couple short weeks after, Friday, May 24th, It'll be the gauntlet for the gold, one of the biggest events every year in AIW. And this one, we have got perhaps our biggest meet and greet guest of all time. WWE Hall of Famer, Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle will be in the building. Folks, the only way you can get those pictures and autographs and have that chance to meet Angle is to be there with us live. So get those tickets while you can. For Pedro DeLuca, I'm Matt Wadsworth. Thank you for joining us yet again on Intense TV.